This is the As Yet Undecided podcast on location at... A ditch. Um, it's a very fancy ditch, Mike. We're currently in the, <laughs> in the ditch, very close to the Auckland Art Gallery. So the ditch is paved in marble and limestone. Yeah. As a ditch paved in marble and limestone, and yet it smells a little bit, bit funny here. Yes, because we are in a ditch. Yeah. So to talk about between a marble and a hard place. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we ask the questions, are we homeless now? Hardly, Mike. You <laughs> may be homeless. Oh, actually, no. Mike, we're kind of are homeless. I'm renting. You're in a hostel. Yeah, we are well, homeless. Well, you're, you're tertiary homeless. I'm, no, wait. No. Under the definition, you're secondary homeless. I'm tertiary homeless. Yes. Yeah. And now, because we're homeless... We cannot decide, we cannot be picky about the food we eat, though. Correct. So, this is for lunch today. Wait, what is this? What is this life? Can you explain what you think it is, Mike? I'm not sure if Sophie is giving me a bag of mothballs. Yeah? A bag of polystyrene peanuts. Yeah? <laughs> And based on texture, yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, um, they're starch peanuts. Based on polystyrene peanuts, are made of starch. So um, recently, Mum asked me to order something from Convita. Convita. And, and, and Convita, because they're a fancy dancy house company, they decided to become as eco-friendly as possible. So instead of polystyrene peanuts, they now produce um, starch peanuts. And the three recommended ways of disposing them is um, dissolving them in a warm sink, putting them into a compost bin, or, putting, or just putting them out on the lawn and wait for the rain to um, dissolve it. But I found the fourth way. Just eat it. I'm actually scared. I ate uh, Mike. I ate some a few days ago. No ill effects. Not yet. But you have been acting drunk lately. You think it's a starch from, you think it's a starch from the peanuts? I don't know. That's, uh, come on, Mike. It's perfectly safe to eat. It's just it dissolves in the mouth. In fact, if we added some food dye to it and maybe some cheese powder, it, we could just call it Cheetos. I think this may be the end of pretentious food corner. <laughs> no, it isn't. This is this is probably the one of the most pretentious food ever. No, 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 no. There's a reason why. That there is only three of them, three ways. Why? Because the fourth one is pointless. Why? Because it tastes of nothing. <laughs> well? It is the embodiment of nothing. You know, ah, ah. There you go. You know how I said that um, if we added some cheese powder to it, we can call it um, Cheetos, right? Yeah, but still, it, no, no, but, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I bought some. Organic cultured aged nut cheese. Cheddar. Yeah, which is great news for you. Wait, this activated cashew nut? Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, what? You see said... Aged nut <laughs> cheese. I, I thought it just meant cheese, not... I thought it's a type of cheese, not like these actual nuts in them. Ha <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my goodness, it's actually crumbly too. Okay. Sophie is, Sophie's pretentious corner is for herself. How <laughs> poisonous the mic. What happens if you eat cashews? Well, I don't want to die. It, yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, like, um, because that is an allergic reaction. Oh my goodness. So wherever it hits contact, it'll rash up. So, because I don't want my um, esophagus to get swollen. Yeah. So I'm like, no. It's a solid, it's a solid no. Okay. Asian nut cheese combined with starch Cheetos, starch polystyrene peanuts. Starch polystyrene, that's, that's a better name for it. I hate this cheese. You hate this cheese? Mm. No. That tastes a bit. So, so did you get the nut cheese from Pharaoh's or did you get it from Convita? Nut cheese from Pharaoh's. Okay. This, uh, the polystyrene peanut, no, the starch peanuts <laughs> is from, starch peanuts <laughs> is from Convita. Even you admit 
Yeah. Then it's more polystyrene than starch. No, it looks polystyrene, but it's actually starch. Otherwise, it won't dissolve in the rain. It will dissolve in your mouth for that matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I always like those things that are dissolving in your mouth. Yeah. Right? Right. You, you know, marshmallows. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Other things, like pop rocks. Great. Yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. No. Mike, you broke his head. Why are you complaining? I would rather breathe than <laughs> eat this. <laughs> what do you mean? This probably has... Yeah, 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 yeah. You can tell that this is nothing because it has no nutritional information on it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what do you think of um, Lush, thank you, using actual popcorn as their packaging filler? It's a good idea. Yeah, would you eat that? If it is legally allow legally safe to eat, sure. Yeah. You, you, but you, because you know, since I come from, I, I did half a decade in the meat industry. Mm. There's a very fine line for what what is considered to be consumption by humans yeah. or not. There's a very fine line. Why is that? Because if you go to Asia, everything is consumable to humans. Well, you, well, technically everything is as well. Yeah. But because of the health health and safety regulations. Yes, slash European EU culture. Yes. It is not considered to be suitable for human consumption. I just still don't get it. How come Europeans are so fussy about their food? I mean, so, so much so they're actually causing a whole lot of waste. I don't know. Could, could concern that you talk, you speak like a British, yes. a Britishman's. Yeah. What, what, what's your take on it? I seriously don't get it. I mean, why is it? Why is the muscle only safe for human consumption? Why not things like the offal? Well, you know, you know, back, back in the, I, I would like to say the prehistoric times, but I'm meaning the earlier 20th century. Yes. There was a lot more consumed offal. Yeah. But because of the side effects of offal. Which include? <laughs> arthritis. Really? Yep. From what? From eating off. Really? Yeah. Why? Because it's a it's a high acid food. Oh yes. Yeah. Anything else? Well, that's the only thing I can think at the moment. But you know, I have seen very novel ways to to have offal. Such as? Um, sticking bovine peni um in the cavity of a chicken. Really? Yeah. What well, what's with the resulting babies? No, 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 I mean like, no, no baby. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, you know, you know, it, it'll be used as a beef cracker. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what's the most unusual food you've ever eaten? Um, huh, I don't really know, because I've been pretty plain about everything. Oh. In a one state. Oh really? That's a pity. Yeah. What about you, Sophie? Well, I eat chicken feet on a regular basis, so whenever I go to Yum Chow. Yes. I love fish eyes. I had um, chicken blood pudding. Oh. Oh. Why? Please do not bring that up to a potential food corner next week. Why is that? I, I just, no, no, that's a solid no. You don't like blood pudding? No. I like blood pudding though. You know, York, if you're not from Yorkshire, are you? No. That's a pity. Clearly not. Well, wait. Uh, how do you turn the screen off, Mike? Because we're running out of power quickly. We're doing this on site, which means we actually have a lack of distinct lack of power, which is a bit worrying. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, for me, it's it, it's expected that this will happen. Oh, I see. Mike, do you think any insects will bite us? No. And um, why don't we eat insects, Mike? Unlike the rest of the world. I don't know why either. Well, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Like, why do we have such a disgust for insects, even though they're they're extremely healthy? I mean, they're all protein and no carbs. I don't know either. There's no fat, so they won't cause heart attacks. Because yeah, because most delic delicacies are brought out on based on locality. Okay. 
considering that our, our populations of insects aren't really that big. But we do have a hoo hoo grub, how come that's not popular? Uh, yeah, it, 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 that's a health and safety issue, that is. Again? Well, yeah. Be because, the, you know, there isn't strict standards to deal with hoo hoo grubs on a global scale. Well, there should be. We have to taste like peanut butter. Well, well, you know, if it tastes like peanut butter, then it's a solid no for me. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the closest thing, that's the closest thing to get to peanut butter without it's actually being poisoned, like. Well, well if, if, if it's going to taste like peanut butter, my, yeah, my esophagus would just involuntarily do the same reaction. So wait, so your allergy is all psychological or not? Yeah, some of it is psychological. Why? I'm a troubled person. Oh man, you need to go. You need, your esophagus needs to go into therapy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, I I like to go into OT, please. <laughs> Can you organise an appointment? Yeah. Organ therapy. <laughs> Organ <laughs> therapy. Yeah. Hey, just remember, it is the first day of summer. Mm, yeah. Yesterday it rained quite a lot, but today's a beautiful day. The Pujakawa flowers are out. Yes, as we like to call it, the mouldy Christmas tree. Underneath the huge Kahootakawa tree, Christmas on the beach. Long pause of silence because of Sophie is singing on location. Yeah. And a lot of people probably turned around and walked the other way. Yeah. So did you, um, did you know that song or? Yeah, but I wasn't going to sing it. <laughs> which is fine. So, what do you, so what's your traditional Christmas for you? Traditional Christmas food? Um. We're talking about food this week, by the way. It's <coughs> sorry. Stereotypical. We're talking about Christmas foods. We're talking about food this week. Um, That's it. Well, at the start, it was very traditional. Yes. Very English inspired. Ham. Roasts, all that sort of jazz. Turkey. No, no, no. Ham. Ham. Lamb. Beef. Yeah, those sort of things. Moo. Moo. Yeah, but. Over the age, uh, over the ages, it, it is just getting, oh, yeah, it, it's become more convenient. I wouldn't say it has become lazier. Yeah. Like having barbecues and stuff like that. More having your ham pre-cooked. Well, yeah, and, and like you know, during my teenage years, we always tried to win a ham. Yeah. Sometimes it was successful. Sometimes it wasn't. Oh really? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't base on your Christmas dinners on what you may or may not be able to do. I mean, surely there should be some more surety to it. Yeah, yeah but, well, well, let's just say that your money security is a lot more secure than ours. <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> secure. Hmm. Yeah, it's about money security. Well, yeah, this sounds a lot like a uh, bank. Yeah. Advertising. Um, I remember going to. Some play oh, I forgot what it was. Um, oh, this podcast is brought to you by yeah. Westpac for your guaranteed money securities so that you know what you're having for Christmas dinner. Yeah, this podcast is also brought to you by Bitcoin. The un <laughs> We're not too sure about security, but we sure know about all that jazz. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And what about you? What do you mean? In Christmas. It's always been very, but mainly English. Yeah. Yeah. Um, last time, um, Dad's second brother hosted the Christmas family, the family Christmas dinner, and he's going to do that again. Yeah. Because apparently his fa his house is the most well equipped, because he actually has an actual house. Yeah. In a hole. He has a house in a hole, so otherwise known as Stonefields. Oh yes. It's a hole. So it's a very, it's a very um, established and affluent hole, but nevertheless, it's still a hole. So I have to ask the question: Were you going for Christmas this year? Same place. Oh, yeah. I told you he's hosting this again. Yeah, but you know the podcast oh, people yes. the podcast don't know. No, I just said in the podcast that he's hosting it again. Yeah. He said the whole game. Never mind. But to be fair, though, that just because he's hosting it doesn't mean I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, so no, it's um, I'm going back there. Yeah. And hopefully I get wonderfully drunk again. Huh. 
Yeah, Sophie's Sophie's become since the last Christmas she has drunk about five hundred percent more alcohol now. Yeah. No, infinite. Your infinite amount? Yeah. Yeah. I, I kinda feel the blame onto that. Your fault? Yeah. You started me on it. Yeah. <laughs> so I started with um like a dash of a dash of um a um, um, uh, coffee liqueur. Yeah, yeah, Bailey's coffee liqueur and chocolate milk. Then I graduated onto a, sm a small sip of some really expensive champagne and now I'm drinking 10% gin and 19% sparkling water. Yeah. I think I'll keep it at that actually, so yeah, so just leave it at the very, very low alcohol level. And, and, and how are you feeling now because of your alcohol exploits? What have you learned from her? Well, you can taste, you can disguise the taste of alcohol really well, yeah. but you do need to like lose it by quite a bit. Yeah. But hey, so far, as with all my drinks, I'm more likely to get diabetes from it than. Um, <laughs> this is no, this is no rule from from alcoholic drinks. If I'm more likely to get diabetes from it than getting drunk off it, I'll drink it. Yeah. But that's a, but that's it. Ah, uh, yeah, but you want to get the insulin ready. Right. So, what's your alcohol rule? No, well, well, that back when I was your age, I used to drink a lot, 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 lot. Yeah? Drink no, no. yourself more blessed. Man, man. Forget about the last singing. one, get yourself another. You always like singing, don't you? There's a microphone in front of me. It's a karaoke section. Drink <laughs> yourself more blessed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dave Dobbin is going to copy my last show. No, 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 that's not Dave Dobbin. It is. It's not Dave Dobbin in the band. That's why it was called DD Smash. DD stood for Dave Dobbin. No, it wasn't DD Smash. It, it was. Stuff. Really? Yeah. What, something else? Never mind. Yeah. So, you drank, used to drink a, lot, drink a lot more alcohol. Yes. So, on a typical Friday evening, what would you drink? 12 to 18 bottles of some 5% liquid. Wait, is that why you've got gigantic cuckoo? Uh, well, if you took out the genetic predisposition, yeah. it doesn't help it. <laughs> yeah. So why 12 to 18? Well, that's how long it took for the effect to kick in. You're a big guy. Yeah. So why don't you go for something stronger? Because well, because I, I like the taste. Of beer. Have, oh. you, tr have you tried craft beer? Yes. Do you like them? Eh, yeah, alright. Favourite beer? I, one that one that can get me drunk? No, one that you like to drink in general? Doesn't matter to me. Oh really? You just you just drink to get drunk? Yeah. Why don't you get some vodka then? Well well let, well let's just say uh, put put your mouth where your money is. Yeah. Let's go get a bottle of vodka, shall we? No, I'm not drinking the vodka. <laughs> You're the one that likes to get drunk. I don't. Well, you, well, you know, considering over the last three months, yeah, you've been more drunk than I have been. I've never actually been drunk. Oh well, you've been closer to drunk than I have. No. Oh yeah, true. I've been closer to drunk than you've been, but I drink alcohol for the taste rather than the um, getting drunk itself. So. Yeah. So, if you were for the maximum enjoyment, what's what's the beer that gives you the maximum enjoyment? Well, you know, before the podcast, we talked about yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, cheapness, value. Yeah. Mike, you're pathetic. So yeah, and actually, next week's a very busy week. Yeah. What's happening for you? You're going to a wedding. No, well, I will be a witness to the to the signature of the legalness of the wedding. Yep. Two would mates. It, would there be JPs? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Two mates and. Two mates, two GPs, and a partridge in a pear tree. Nice. <laughs> um, we've got the two mates coming over from England. Yeah. Um, and something else is going on. Oh yeah, in, in the stereotypical quiz night, whenever that is. Yeah. And what about you? Yeah, I've got a quiz. I I don't have a wedding to go to. Yeah, well, you you, you, you know. Uh, and the wedding is the week after, and it's just going to be a backyard wedding. So you're going to have a wedding and another wedding? 
For the same wedding? No, for but, the same couple? No, but, but you know, it's more of a celebration of the... Wedding? Yeah. Oh, so you have a wedding, then you have the reception like a week after? Yeah. In a nutshell. Wow. Yeah. Weddings. Yeah, I know, right? So, that's two weddings, now when's the funeral? <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm going to bring it up in the speech. Yeah? That, you know, this year we've had four surgeries and a wedding. Yeah? Yeah. Four surgeries and a wedding, not four weddings and a funeral. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Same thing, different thing. Yeah. Because, yeah. So, like, we've had four surgeries in our family. Oh, really? Me taking half of it. Your mum taking one? Who's another one? No, 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 she didn't have surgery. Oh, who's the other two? Um, my cousin and my grandmother. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, both had knees. Wow. Do you think you, do you think you'll need to get your knees replaced? I don't think so. For some reason. I hope not. Um. Add that to the list of things to do for surgery. Oh well, considering that I already have another two more to go. Uh. For the eye, but. Really. Well, yeah, I've got to have the stitches taken out. Yeah. And then the cataract removed. Why? Yeah. Oh, when are you keeping your glasses? Well, we'll find out more yeah. on the twelfth. On the twelfth. Okay. That's when I'm leaving to go, that's more or less the time I'm leaving to go down to the South Island. Yeah. So, well, don't worry, I'll still be within, um, you know, New Zealand's jurisdiction and <laughs> roaming rates do not apply. Roaming rates do not, not apply. apply. Yes, so you can just, you know, send, send me a message, I'll, I'll have data. And on that note, this has been the As You Decided podcast. We have not decided whether Mike likes the um, community project yet. We just went there for lunch. <laughs> Mike is like, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, maybe, uh, 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 it's probably too expensive, I'll never go back, uh, uh, no, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, please rate, rate the Kimichi Project out of five. It'll be about a two. And speaking of ratings, you could rate our podcast. Yeah. And you can contact us on the Manus and at Sophie9709 or at AYU Podcast. And if you want to send us an angry word in email, it is at as the, no, as the Uncle podcast at gmail.com. Also, um, like and subscribe, please. It kind of helps us, I think. I'm not too sure anymore. Do you think it helps us? I don't know.